हेलो एवरी वन दिस इज शायन एंड वेलकम टू माई बायोलॉजी क्लास टूडे वी विल लर्न अबाउट बैक क्रॉस एंड टेस्ट क्रॉस एज वेल एज देयर सिग्निफिकेंस इन जेनेटिक्स इन जेनेटिक्स बोथ द बैक क्रॉस एंड टेस्ट क्रॉस हैव हाई सिग्निफिकेंस स्पेशली द टेस्ट क्रॉस बट प्रायर टू नो अबाउट द डिटेल्स ऑफ टेस्ट क्रॉस वी नीड टू नो अबाउट द बैक क्रॉस सो लेट्स नो अबाउट द डेफिनेशन ऑफ बैक क्रॉस बैक क्रॉस इज अ क्रॉसिंग बिटवीन एफ वन हाइब्रिड विथ एनी वन ऑफ इट्स पेरेंट और जेनेटिकली सिमिलर टू इट्स पेरेंट सो बैक क्रॉस इज अ काइंड ऑफ बैकवर्ड क्रॉस वेर एनी एफ वन हाइब्रिड ऑफ स्प्रिंग इज क्रॉस एनी वन ऑफ इट्स पेरेंट लेट्स ट्राई टू नो अबाउट द बैक क्रॉस विद द हेल्प ऑफ अ सिंपल इजी एग्जाम्पल लेट्स क्रॉस बिटवीन दिस टू पेरेंट्स दिस इज अ होमोजाइगस डोमिनेंट पेरेंट एंड दिस इज अ होमोजाइगस रिसेसिव पेरेंट वॉट विल हैपन इफ वी क्रॉस दिस टू टाइप ऑफ प्लांट आवर एफ वन हाइब्रिड इंडिविजुअल विल हैव द जेनोटाइप ऑफ कैपिटल टी एंड स्मॉल टी सो फेनोटिपिकली इट विल बी अ टॉल पी प्लांट बट जेनेटिपिकली इट विल बी अ हाइब्रिड सो इन एफ वन जेनरेशन वी ऑप्टेन हाइब्रिड ऑफ स्प्रिंग फ्रॉम बोथ द homozygous dominant as well as homozygous recessive parents now if we cross this hybrid f1 hybrid individual with any one of its parent this is the parental generation any one of its parent either the homozygous dominant or either with the homozygous recessive then that type of cross will be referred as back cross so obviously back cross will be of two type the first type will be a cross between the hybrid offspring with that of its homozygous dominant parent this is the parental genotype and another type will be the genotype of the f1 hybrid crossed with its homozygous recessive parent this is the recessive parental genotype okay now these are the two different types of back cross among these two types of back cross the second one this type is very very important in the field of genetics and this type is referred as test cross now we will know detail about the test cross let's know about the test cross in details and for that we should start with its definition when an organism of dominant phenotype but unknown genotype is crossed with a homozygous recessive individual then such genetic cross is called test cross this is the simple definition of test cross so from the definition we came to know that it's not only a simple type of back cross rather it is a useful tool in genetics which can identify any unknown genotype this technique was first developed by scientist mendel and he used it to identify or to predict the exact genotype of any phenotypically dominant organism let us try to know how they, he used this technique to identify any unknown genotype with the help of a very simple known example that is the tall characteristic feature of pea plant we all know that the tall feature of pea plant is phenotypically a dominant feature but phenotypically tall pea plant may possess both of these two type of genotype either may possess capital t capital t homozygous dominant allele this character may also exhibit the phenotypically tallness and another character may be this hybrid type capital t small t although genotypically it is a hybrid pea plant but it exhibit phenotypically same tall feature like that of this particular homozygous individual now we have to know how test cross help us to identify or to distinct between these two type of genotype and for that we will start with the help of some example in first case we will consider this example what will happen if we cross this homozygous dominant allele with a homozygous recessive parental combination of pea plant in the fusion of such kind of organisms it will produce only a single type of organism that is hybrid tall so phenotypically all of its organism will be tall in character and what will happen in the second case that is the cross between the hybrid capital t small t 
with that of its recessive parental combination that is capital T small t. Let us try what will happen. It will produce two types of gamete capital T and small t. On the other hand, this will produce only a single small t type of gamete. Now, if we fuse these gametes with each other, we will have these two type of combination. One organism will formed with this genotype capital T small t and another organism will form with this genotype small t small t. So, phenotypically this will be a tall pea plant and phenotypically this will be a dwarf pea plant. So, this is how we can distinct distinguish between this homozygous dominant individual with that of heterozygous individual. How? Whenever we will test cross any homozygous dominant individual, we will always have only the tall or the dominant phenotypic character in the next generation. But whenever we will cross any hybrid individual uh, in the test cross, we will always have one hybrid or one uh, phenotypically uh, dominant character and another phenotypically recessive character. So, from today's discussion, I hope you got clear idea on back cross and test cross as well as their significance in genetics, especially the significance of test cross to identify the uh, unknown genotype of any organism. Still, if you have any problem over this topic, you can ask me in the comment box. That's all for today. Thanks for watching.